Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. We like to be a little bit passionately late, so uh, I hope you understand. Um, it gives me great pleasure to be with you here today. I'm Dina Shinobi, and I'm the Chief Investment Officer at Plastics Labs. Today is Plastics Labs' first ever regional demo day, right here out of the way. So I'd like to show you all a bit of a video about the harmonica success story. For how flat six laps will be so impactful at this stage that it gives us like the acceleration money and it gives us mentorship with the team that's with people that help us with the only payments to bring up a prototype. We're very excited that the team happens in a point of time. It's not very common that it's an acquisition that can happen. So we are ready to go global and take like a, a local startup into the global stage. Because we made it when it's not one of the where we went to the accelerator program and we got all the support that we provide in terms of mentorship, funding, training, access to markets. And they put them one day where they presented their idea in front of hundreds of investors. Then they managed to secure the follow-up amount. Also very proud of the 
the Holy Spirit is convinced us that they can do it to match what our culture requires. The team is very persistent. They know what they want. They never tired and never told them. We all think this could work. They had a belief, they had a vision, and they went out. Flats and Stubs has been with them from the very beginning before this was even anything. They came in and presented an idea. We had to take that idea from just an idea to a company, a business, and a very successful problem. The growth is dependent on fundraising, but it's really also dependent on the people. And I think that's the biggest role that Flats and Stubs does. We don't do their job, we just help them overcome obstacles, help them find their way, and support them to create networks find mentors, find more funding beyond us, and even provide more funding to follow up funding beyond the accelerated program and make connections. I think the team is very successful. They have the energy and they have what it takes to make this one of Egypt's biggest success stories. We wish them all the best. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dina, for that kind introduction. And it gives me a great pleasure to be here at ArabNet Riyadh for our first ever regional demo day. My name is Ryan Sharif, and I'm the managing director of Flat Six Labs Bahrain. Flat Six Labs Bahrain is a joint venture between Flat Six Labs and IRM Bahrain. Our fund today is fully funded by Tamkini, Bahrain's labor fund, and is also endorsed and supported by the likes of the Economic Development Board. To date, we have invested in 28 startups over four cycles, with which 70% of our startups have already received follow-on funding in just over 20 months. We are excited that we've helped our startups raise over 1 million US dollars. One of the key components to acceleration is to provide world-class training, mentoring, and coaching. Today, we have utilized 50 trainers to train 1,500 founders with over 100,000 hours of training provided. Let's take a quick look at what a typical boot camp looks like in the Google Bar. So what we're going to find is, is going to 
be very difficult to pick from the 18 companies that we've received. All of them are very different. Uh, saying that, I think everybody will take something away from joining us on this week of camp. And everybody's had a great time.
Through Magellan, employers can talk about the day in their life, showcase videos of their employees talking about their experiences, highlight their office, and talk about what it's like to work with them. We took a very similar approach with job seekers, where we don't let anyone just comply with their CV. They have to go on a job, upload a personal profile that highlights their personal ambitions, what their career goals are, and what they're looking for in a working environment. The result of all this is a huge increase in the relevancy of applications. Where we're seeing 34% of our applicants on Magellan being shortlisted in the next week of inspection. That's almost double the ABC now. For this level of service, of course, it works on two bases either with an Amazon subscription or a pay as you go back based on their usage uh, and their needs. So far, since we've started, I'd like to be saying to that the fact that we're working now with 300 employers in three different countries, we've generated over $40,000 uh, in revenue. Um, and you can notice some of the companies that are with us now in these countries. In terms of job seekers, right now we're receiving an average of 50,000 pages per month, and we have 9,000 job seekers profiles registered and built on the platform. But our favorite metric has to be this one. So far since we've started, 400 people have landed opportunities for Metra in different organizations. Our ask today is $500,000. We're looking to raise this amount to increase to build up our team, to enhance our technology, and to increase our presence in the cloud. Our team that we happen to have built from Metzla as well uh, has a combined experience of 13 years uh, in recruitment and 10 years in building uh, tech startups and uh, technology. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Metzla. If you have any questions or if you have any uh, thoughts about our platform, please feel free to come to our booth later on. Thank you very much. Um, next up is a partner from Ekavati. It is a platform connecting caterers to consumers.
growth in a very short time, almost $40,000 per month. And Saudi Arabia and Saudi yes, that means we are operating in Saudi Arabia now. In addition, we are raising a pre-seed round right now. So if you want to make sure you get the last slice of that cake, come and talk to us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abdullah. Next up to the stage, I would like to welcome up on the habit from Springering, a school communication management platform. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ahmed Ashur, the co-founder of Springering, a school communication management platform. I'm a computer engineer, ex-banker, and serial entrepreneur, but most importantly, a father of two young children. And as soon as my kids started going to school, I realized that school communication looks something like this. Not only have multiple people trying to communicate with each other, but they're doing it through multiple platforms and channels, like social media channels, WhatsApp groups, even some school portals, and paper slips and lunchboxes. And if you're like me with two kids going to different schools and dealing with multiple teachers, the problem becomes significantly larger, and communication becomes siloed, inefficient, and simply overwhelming for everyone. And that's why we built Springer to bring together everyone on the one platform, but also bring all the systems that schools use together as well, in one unified communication hub. The school's journey on Spring Break starts with that administrator in three easy steps. Register online, create your school and its structure, add your users and invite them, and all this through a simple web application. As for teachers, as soon as they receive their invitations, all they need to do is create their classes, and they're all set to communicate with the parents, either as a group or individually through two-way chats. As for parents, we don't need them to do anything but download the app, log in, and they'll find it all set up with all their children's classes, with all their children, calendar of events, and or access to their teachers. And we're still launching a student application as well and multiple integrations with one of most of the popular school applications like Google Classroom, iSAMS, PowerSchool, and many more. And we offer this to schools in a very simple subscription model based on the number of students they have and through multiple plans based on their sizes and needs. Not only did we see an opportunity to solve a very big problem, but also tap into a quarter of a trillion dollar edtech industry. But as an immediate focus, we're focused on the GCC countries with more than 50,000 schools serving more than 15 million students. Our journey began beginning of 2019 with three preschools as a pilot. And after the great feedback that we got from them, we started onboarding more schools and landed one of the largest schools and highly ranked schools in Bahrain, which brought our user base to more than 5,000. Our journey actually began back in 2018 where we managed to raise a seed fund of $200,000 and using our closed beta where, to the great success, managed to onboard five more different schools and until the end of this academic year we're focused on Bahrain with 170 private schools serving more than 90,000 students and during the next academic year expanding into the GCC market with a focus on Saudi and UAE. But to achieve this, we're asking for $1 million to help us in our sales and marketing efforts, not only in Bahrain this year, but also next into expanding into the DCC. And we've put together a great team of developers, designers, marketers, and business developers. And with myself and my co-founder, Jawad, who have been working together for the past 10 years, we're very confident we'll be able to achieve this. Thank you very much for your time, and hopefully we can see, see you tomorrow at our booth. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Next up is Ali from Tamara, a sports and recreational booking platform. We had to run and help people have fun through sports, and this is how we do it. So this is at the right one in the world. Yeah. Both made a new resolution and decided to get into the fitness world and start exercising. But these guys
guys are always struggling in finding the right sport and the right game. They're very unhappy. On the other side of the equation, I was lucky enough to receive a, a, a request from a good friend of mine, Khalid Fai, who owns a CrossFit center, a sports center. And this guy was struggling a lot in managing his business. He had a lot of challenges. He was struggling, uh, struggling a lot in managing the memberships, class bookings, retaining the existing clients, and attracting the new ones. So, we started the journey of the product, and the solution was very obvious. To build an online platform that connects all the sports enthusiasts with the service providers and makes it so easy for the people to find and book all kinds of sport venues, recreational activities, and sport events around them. So, when we built the app, we clearly saw how far this business became more organized and how easy it was for people like Akira and Ron and Noor in finding and looking at different kinds of sport venues and recreational activities around them. So we were looking for a soccer pitch, tennis court, basketball court, cycling, horseback riding, water sports, it's all there on our app. Right? All what you need to do is to download the app, choose the sport that you want, you know, find a big, a big array of options, select one, book it, and go there and have fun exercise. Right? As for the service providers, it's very simple. You have then access to a dashboard to manage all kinds of membership packages, class um, bookings. Communicating a better way with your clients, access real time reports, and many more features, all in one app. We realized that, that the, um, you know, that the problems are not limited by any one need. So we realized that the market is pretty big. So globally, more than 80 billion are spent actually on uh, sports and education activities. And in the media region, we are talking about more than 5.5 billion is spent on sports and education. Alone, more than 3.6 billion with a growth rate of 9.2% each and every year. It's a big market. So, this is how we make money. We charge a monthly subscription fee for the service providers in return of using our platform and a transaction commission on each and every booking for some of the activities and venues. Ever since we started this journey, the results were incredible, outstanding. We were able to manage. Now, to process more than 2.2 million worth of booking revenues for the centers that join us. Coming from more than 150,000 bookings, it were, uh, were done by more than 8,000 end users, and that was only in Bahrain in less than two years. Now, we are really proud to be working with a list of with more than 250 clients and strategic partners in Bahrain, different categories, recreational activities, service providers, sport associations, studio owners, personal trainers. Well, the list is always growing, and now we are ready to expand, starting from beyond. So, in less than 48 hours, we managed to onboard 10 uh, service providers, inshallah, and beyond. So, in the next 18 months, our focus is going to be on three metrics. A, onboarding more paying centers. B, acquiring more downloads and users that will use our platform. This will uh, result in generating more than 100,000 bookings that will get translated to more than 10 million worth of booking revenue and process revenue for the centers. That's why the big mission is very big and we are raising 500k that we have must expand our team and develop our products. We have a great team of sport fanatics that love sports, are so passionate about sports, with more than 30 years relatively of experience in sports field, business and IT. We are on a mission on all basically becoming the Mina's biggest sports community platform that connects all the sports enthusiasts with the service providers. We want to help people maintain a happy and healthy lifestyle for sports. And if you would like to be part of this journey, please reach us out.
We create centralized programs, provide a lot of training and a lot of access to that engagement through matching on a personal level and on an industry level with leading corporates so that we can allow these startups to either access new markets, develop new products with these corporates, or receive an investment in the future through these matches. We'll play a quick video uh, showcasing the latest business effort of the event that we run in Europe before we begin getting started with digital training. There's a lot of solutions for water, but the next startup that you're about to see is kind of a very simple and effective way to do it. And I'm pleased to ask you to welcome Muhammad Khadi on stage. We've also tested our product with the help of the University of Banaman that was able to help us validate our results. We're also working on other devices such as this device that can be connected to your conventional water bottle to filter any natural water source such as a river or a lake to be made into a drinkable water source for people in need. And that's why we are asking for a ticket size of around $400,000 in order to cover our R&D operations and the manufacturing and marketing Behind Kinto is a great team that has been working hard. Raz is responsible for operations, while Hina is responsible for marketing, and I am Hamad, I'm responsible for management and research. I'd also like to thank our advisors for helping us move away. After selling our stock, we are currently accepting pay orders and can actually pre order our filters on our social media platforms where you can visit us tomorrow after us. Thank you. We 
will be some 300,000 dollars. Half the amount is committed by our investors, and now we are looking for Saudi investors, strategic investors. So behind all of this, there is our amazing team. We have worked in hospitality industry. We live in Portland. We got our technical expertise from the best companies in the region, and now we're solving the problem that we previously lived. We scan us and we schedule the future of the world. Thank you. Cairo is Latin Club's hometown, and this is where we launched our flagship accelerator program eight years ago. And since then, we've graduated 13 cycles and invested in 98 startups. We have created together more than 1,000 direct jobs and over 7,000 indirect jobs. They have raised 70 million pounds in form of funding, and our portfolio value currently stands at two times the initial investment. Our current classic staff's accelerator company fund is a 170 million pound fund, investing in productive technology startups in Egypt. Our anchor investors are the International Finance Corporation, the micro small and medium enterprise development agency, Egypt Ventures under the auspices of the Egyptian Ministry of Investment and International Cooperation. American Enterprise Fund. Classic Club's existence in several locations across the MENA region and the GCC region allows us and helps us to support our startups expand to other countries across the GCC and benefit from our existing networks. One form of support is an annual road trip that we take our startups on to uh, visit new countries where they can build connections and network with investors and partners and potential business partners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave you with a short video of our last GCC book show that we just did in October. We took nine of our alumni startups. We visited five cities in five days. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we got the first bit of pitch from Cairo with Exit, the first inspection management software in the region. Please join me in welcoming Ayman Ogil and see you on stage. Good evening. My name is Ayman Ogil. I'm from the CEO of Exit, the inspection management software. All over the world, oil and gas and construction companies run mega projects that stands across different locations using thousands of industrial equipment on a daily basis. Safety is very critical, and these equipment cannot be used unless tested and certified. So they have a high inspection companies test equipment and generate safety certificate that needs to be reviewed every six months. Let me show you one single equipment inspection. Inspectors are assigned a job by form of email that goes to the client location, inspect the equipment, record the results on a piece of paper. Once back in the office, they start generating the safety certificate templates, depending on the test time, printed and send it to the client along with the invoice. Imagine doing this process for thousands of equipment in multiple locations for only one single process, a project. The process is extremely slow, inefficient, and time consuming. That's why we created Pixel, the first inspection management software in the main area. It's a cloud-based software that helps inspection companies digitize their workflow, go paperless, save inspection time by completing tasks 10 times faster. Let me show you the same inspection process using Pixel. Inspection companies logs with the dashboard, assign inspector depending on their availability, receive the to the client location, inspect the equipment, and record the, the expected results directly in Pixel using their tablets. With a simple click of a button, they generate a safety certificate, which automatically goes to the client dashboard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have created one single platform which allows inspection companies and their clients to track, monitor, and print any certificate due dates and highly detailed and analytical Pixel has many features, including flexible certificate templates, multi-industry compatibility, ERP integration, and many more. We charge inspection companies an annual subscription fee of $1,000 per license, and we generate an average revenue of $2,000 for additional services such as customization support and data migration services. Since we started in 2016, we have been growing steadily at 60 annually, and we have generated an annual recurring revenue of $70,000. We are currently serving one of the number 40 inspectors right now, and we have issued more than 
for many systems against through Pixel. We are a very proud to be serving major million players in the region. We have customers in 10 different countries, including Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt, and even Indonesia, Malaysia, and North Africa. In 2018, inspection management software was valued at $3 billion with an annual growth rate of 1%. $741 million are spent in that industry in that region. And for our roadmap, we are planning to introduce training and industrial module along with Pixel Lite, a SaaS model which will open new markets for us, such as construction, retail, and hospitality. By end of 2021, we will launch our augmented reality application which will help inspection companies stimulate the equipment for training purposes. And over the next three years, we have plans to increase our number of subscribers to 10,000 users, which will result in generating an, an annual recurring revenue of $2 million. And the original vision, we are currently raising $500,000 to be spent on team expansion and sales of marketing, product development, and accreditation. We believe that we are the best team on Pixel. We have 38 years of combined experience in software, product development, sales, and marketing. Our vision for Pixel is to become the main region industry standard for all kinds of inspections. If you are interested in our product, please make sure to pay us a visit in our booth to inspect our live demo product. Thank you very much. Dr. Rasha Hati, the CEO of Shifa, your ultimate solution to ordering for survival medication. Good afternoon. Uh, sorry, good evening. I'm Dr. Rasha Hati, CEO of Shifa, an on-demand smart medical plan. A problem doesn't really feel like a problem until it happens to you or someone you love. Two years ago, my co-founder and friend, Dr. Ali Fazal, was with her own cancer. Surprise, surgery was the easy one. The problem was to get the daily life home and immediately after. And with the farming market that's fast growing, in Egypt, that's up to three billion dollars. While the middle region, with the fastest growth rate globally, that's up to 48 billion dollars. As for Africa, well, that's about 65 billion dollars and increasing. So it just made sense to go to the to provide apps and the integration of Three simple steps. Patient can scan prescription, choose the new data, and simple order. We should go to the nearest pharmacy according to the GPS location to be delivered in less than 30 minutes by the pharmacy. Before she left, it took up to 120 minutes. For medicines that are below the market, we make it up to 24 hours to get. Before she left, it took up to 21 days. Product patient can schedule to get 30 days worth of dosage together with two services, both to minors and heads up in case of cancer shortage. And to do it even more, we have quality of condition specific packages, diabetes, thyroid diseases, disturbed disorders. As for all the relevant non pharmaceuticals, that's our even worse marketplace, zero inventory, zero assets. Still in the horizon, the one shot in the way from the first virtual pharmaceutical assistant to take any tumors and to help all decision makers in the fight against the NCDs and to take one step closer towards safe digital transformation in the healthcare and the region, we have built our own AI letters that can extract data from prescriptions into up to different 52 data sets and we are able to apply it. So, how do we know? We charge pharmacies and commission 5% for pharmaceuticals, 10% for non-pharmaceuticals. We also have a subscription model for the upgraded services for patients, pharmacies, pharmaceutical companies, medical insurance companies, and the beauty for the companies. Which helps us in just 20 months to generate a total sales of more than $3.5 million and by fulfilling more than 200,000 orders through more than 800 pharmacies and 18 by maintaining a monthly market growth of an average 18%. Now, at this stage, we are now to the launch of us raising our Series A next month, and we ask for $2.5 million to be used in scaling marketing, 
operations aiming at acquiring 20% of the Egyptian market, which would be our mark for a pilot in Saudi Arabia. We the team of rules behind you now. The total 26 full-time entries, led by our CEO of YIF, with more than 19 years of experience in digital marketing, MBA, PhD in business analysis, and myself, I'm Dr. Marshall Oden, assistant lecturer of pediatrics, the PhD in pediatrics, a professional diploma in healthcare quality management, and more than 10 years of legal practice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mahmoud Zohar, the CEO of Mina. The first logistic solution of its kind in the Middle East. Billy and his family 
a mother of God. It can take up to 2.5 million dollars to raise a child with a learning difficulty. We have a challenge. Tens of years of therapy, millions of dollars for one person to lead a normal life. The world can do better. We should do better. Especially if there are over 100 million children worldwide suffering from learning difficulties and developmental disabilities. Recently, a researcher at the University of Waterloo affirms that in only four months there was a 35% increase in social and cognitive awareness to children who participated in a VR based training in social cognition. This is a new hope for special education. And to bring this hope to life, we created VR video. We designed 3D virtual environments specially tailored to instill diverse life skills in children, social, cognitive, academic, and motor skills. We deliver virtual reality software installed on VR headsets to therapy centers in order to replace boring, inefficient, and high cost training sessions with engaging and immersive experiences that are customizable, trackable, affordable, and efficient. Our content can be delivered through fully supervised sessions and is also enriched with AI and sensor enabled experiences to enhance the experience of the user. Currently, we are B2B, offering our services exclusively to therapy centers and adopting an annual licensing model. We piloted with six centers in two countries with five modules and 60 children. We have also achieved significant reductions in communication errors, such as impulsivity and response time. And we have also obtained our first IRB approval from a renowned university, University of Princess School of the Tavaram and in Riyadh. We have generated $30,000 in revenue in nine months and we raised so far $160,000. Uh, we are looking forward to the, the next few months to reach out to 300 centers in five countries with an already existing network of account managers in three Canadian cities and to develop over 10 tools and to generate over $1.8 million in revenue. In order to do this, we are raising $500,000 team expansion, marketing, and operations. Our product is developed under the supervision of renowned professionals in the field. And to achieve our vision, we have built a multidisciplinary team who work on technology research, assisted therapeutics, VR development, and visual rehabilitation with a combined experience of over 40 years. Let's make billion for billion success, everyone's success. Join us in our journey to impact lives for a better future. Thank you. Now speaking uh, the best for us from which is from Cairo, I'm happy to introduce Sabrina Asim, the CEO of Antan. Large companies tapping into open innovation through computer. 
like Vodafone, Miss Foundation, the British Council, Dell, and others, to receive over 80,000 applications through our fully operating process. And we have generated $100,000 in revenues. We have an ambitious game plan for the upcoming two years. We aim to convert over 300 organizations into paying customers, to generate over $700,000 in revenues. For our product roadmap, we will automate the judging process of the applications using machine learning. We will also develop and send an enterprise version of our software to be used internally by corporate employees. We're currently raising five hundred thousand dollars to be mostly spent on product development, marketing, sales, and operations. This is our amazing team having a collective experience of over thirty years in innovation management, sales, marketing, and product development. Thank you so much for listening and hope to see you at our
There is actually almost over 400,000 job opportunities in the digital industry in Africa every day. 42% of the jobs are having impacted by digitalization, and 65% of the workforce in Africa every day doesn't have the necessary skills in this field. We think that digital education is broken and exists a solution for all short of delivering for today's skills. And the economy based on knowledge, evolution is always very. Our vision at the moment is really about transforming organization, transforming companies to learning and digital urban, to digital and learning organization. And the way we are building our own technology platform that handles the students' assessment, the students' learning, the content creation, database matching with companies and the business analytics. The way we is an education platform that train hands on West technology and connect them with technical communities around the world. Our platform is fully decentralized. You can easily create tracks, launch training, engage the trainer, the learner, and the program manager, and especially train on a new scale. At Domingo, we seek to be the largest digital learning community in Africa and the Middle East. We provide digital skills training for the future of work on data, digital marketing, design, and development. And we choose this to our need to learn that is based on a blended model that combines the physical space, which is our hacker space, and the online platform. Our commercial offering is a people and company center. We provide learning path according to PPC and ATP needs. We're taking a largely spending market. The global IT market was worth over $64 billion and it's growing. See, for, for the last three years, Romania has been growing four times in terms of and we generated, we generated over one million dollars in revenues accumulated in 2019. For the past few years, we might have trained over 4,000 students, placed over 1,000 developers in tech company, our team spells 100 persons, and we raised five, over 500,000 dollars as a tertiary aid, and we successfully scaled in three major cities, four hybrid spaces in three major cities in Tunisia. We're managing a portfolio of over 50 partners who are actively hiring our revenues in using our technology to train their teams on digital skills. For the upcoming year, we might not also make its tech platform top notch, reinforce its business and tech team with good profiles, validate, expand its finances, and expand its Tunisia hackers based service. And these are the countries that are targeting for expansion. And we're raising $5 million to leverage this vision. I personally started building product at a very young age and I was hired by YC, by, YC, by, 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 by two YC companies, makes school and upgraded as a product manager and a game developer. My co founder in was previously an analyst at Amazon and created a Tunisian uh, French company on the source in Nepal. Our team combines our team combined for 40 years of experience in building product and management teams. Thanks everyone. Companies manage their energy usage to improve efficiency using smart IoT devices. Hello everyone, I'm myself founder of WhatNow. And in WhatNow we are helping companies reduce their energy consumption and better manage their assets. The problem we are tackling is the, uh, the uh, inefficiencies that are that we find in businesses using their resources. Especially that almost 30% is being wasted in business premises. Uh, governments are removing some of this from the university. In Saudi Arabia, for instance, by the year 2025, all sources will be removed from the university. And most buildings are not equipped with the proper energy management systems to tackle this problem. So, this is why the market is uh, up to $2 billion, it was up to $2 billion last year in the Middle East and So, how do we do it? The solution starts with the real-time monitoring. Sorry. With the real-time monitoring uh, solution that tracks the energy uh, parameters of uh, our, uh, our customers, and this way we give them uh, data-driven decisions with the tech faults as they happen, and we help them make savings. This way we can, they can reduce their costs and their capital. Uh, our solution is both hardware and software. So we build these devices that span different communication communication means. GSM, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and uh, also wired ones. Those uh, and, uh, those devices send data to our 
for online platform that is backed by an AI engine that helps uh, detect and analyze data for our customers. It's easy to use, it's really intuitive, and we have many great results with it. I can give you an example with one of our customers in the data industry uh, who have thousands of sites to track, and thanks to our solutions in uh, installed 200 sites, they managed to have 15% uh, of savings. They reduced the maintenance business by 60%, and uh, they invested less than half uh, in hardware thanks to our machine learning engine. Last year we have uh, we have had great uh, traction. We moved from ten thousand euros in 2018 to one hundred fifty thousand euros. Uh, one great validation came from two of our pilots that converted to ten times bigger uh, pilots. And this is how we make our money. We manufacture devices for uh, around seventy five hundred. 75 dollars, we sell them for an average of 250 dollars, and we have a subscription fee of 5 dollars per device per month. Our customers span different industries from retail, industry, banks, uh, tables, and uh, hotels and commercial buildings, and we are raising 1 million dollars to expand to the GCC and the EU market to ramp up manufacturing and especially to judge our model to hardware as a service model where we charge, where we remove the barrier of entry, which is uh, the upfront cost from, uh, from our, our customers. Behind, behind that now, there is a multidisciplinary and very passionate team to, uh, to our mission. It spans energy engineering, software development, data science, and uh, better systems. Thanks a lot, and I hope to see you in our room. learning uh, algorithm will identify which group of boosters 
is the best to promote your product at that specific time. You can share it through any social network. If someone buys with the link that you have shared, our system is able to track who bring the whole to sales, calculate the commission, and pay the boosters for it. And all of this is based on data science and machine learning to match the right product to the right booster at the right time and in the right place. Addition to that, to make to have our booster to be more efficient, we created also Boosting Influencers Academy. It's an e-learning platform helping them to enhance their skills and capability and make them a real sales force for any business online. Okay, our business model is simple. We have subscription fees to get access to our technology and platform, and we take commission fees for every transaction we generate. So it's a win-win channel. Advertiser win, the booster win, and we generate also revenue with that. Our market is social media advertising. It's going very fast, more than 20% every year, going to reach $4 billion in 2020 in MENA region and $70 billion in the entire world. Uh, we started in Tunisia. It's a very small market. Still, we already are showing good traction. We have almost 30 advertisers and are generating more than 800 transactions every month with our uh, users, and we have 80,000 active users today. In Tunisia, we have almost reached our target of 46 net revenue, so the 46 day net revenue for the first year, but our real target is to expand to the Middle East and mainly in Saudi Arabia. Our target in three years is to have four billion dollar within three years. We already see, we already leveraged 100k as a seed funding with that six staff, and actually we are looking for 400 thousand dollar in terms of developing our sales internationally, go out of Tunisia, and uh, grow our team. About myself, I have 19 years of expertise in digital marketing and e-commerce. I have the chance to work internationally at Yahoo, at Google. Media, uh, media Net in Tunisia, Julia also Sigur Julia in, in Africa. Mohammed is not true, I was still with more than five years developing in mobile and, uh, and uh, web uh, application and a team of uh, uh, very motivated marketing uh, juniors. Thank you very much. If you want to know more about Ostini, I would be more than happy to work with you in our humble booth in the Flat uh, Sea Labs uh, area. Thank you very much. an innovative solution for booking beauty and wellness services at home for companies or during events. Services. By 2021, it will be 
Central Region. The next year, dedicated to Marshall Sous, the second largest city in Tunisia, in order to reach 20,000 appointments. By 2021, we will uh, launch Casablanca and also launch our e shop to be able to sell new products. And 2022 will be the year of expansion in the Middle East as we're targeting Cairo, Riyadh, and Beirut. In order to do that, we ask for $350,000 Thank you so much. 